All right, what's up, you guys? I'm gonna make another video, and I'm meaning to get around to make a video like this because this comes up and I hear something on TV that uh, reminded me. But I'm gonna make reference to videos I made that's like a dead horse. I mean, I'm not bringing the subjects back. The subjects are still out there. But I'm gonna say examples, you know what I mean? Uh, that I want to talk about these. I want to. I don't want to talk about the issues, but I'm going to bring the videos what they were about. But I want to make a case for what I call uh, God bots. Okay. I mean, I'm an asshole. Okay, in a lot of ways. I uh, there's parts of religion I'm willing to accept that are nice people, but then some are stupid, and some of them that I can't fucking stand. And then there's people like I says on the atheist side or the. Uh, the rebel against religion, the extreme Satanist, the occult side, and occult science side, they're fucking stupid as hell. But, for whatever reasons, but, I mean, okay, there's reasons, okay, like, say, for example, I had, like, videos commemorating maybe uh, the hypocrisy over there, like, say, uh, for example, a video I had, though, a white yoga instructor gets shot by a Somalian and over there, a Samoyan police officer and all that. And I made videos um, of certain, uh, my certain activities, uh, just out of spite to support uh, the woman that died, okay? And I, I'm not like trying to censor these, I'm trying to, within reason, even if somebody wants to be a troll, if I think it's amusing, I'll make fun of them. A troll comment, leave it on there. And, but in some cases, if you have a scripture, okay, if somebody wants to put it on there, maybe some of them, I can see why you're doing it. But the problem I have with people that, okay, I call it sometimes hiding behind scripture, but oh yeah, you can also hide behind your atheism, you can hide behind, there's things like uh, racial turmoil and conflict going on right now, and there's people of all sudden, they're hiding behind their race, their cowards, okay, but I'm talking about the God bots, like, they're not wrong, I don't care, even an asshole I am, I don't care if you put a scripture on or whatever, people put them on their Facebooks to inspire, try to uplift people, even an asshole like me that can't stand certain stuff, you know, I understand why you're doing it, no problem, but I can see right away, instead of, okay, making a comment on the issue whether you believe in God, nothing wrong with having God in or if you don't want God in the comment about a particular incident or a thing, right? But, I mean, you can tell so obvious instead of, uh, some people are so afraid of being humanist or afraid of human wisdom, I mean, human wisdom or you want to call it uh, worldly wisdom, that, oh, even when they talk in, uh, about an issue or a certain thing, like it, the Bible has to be, a Bible verse has to be quoted all the time. I mean, you could be an actual person not commenting on a video, okay, and you could be a, fu a fucking, uh, I mean, a freaking God bot, okay. And it's like, and sometimes it's damn obvious, and even though I'm not like that, I'm not going to take the comment off of the YouTube, okay. But say some people do. Maybe some of you guys have YouTube accounts and say you'll take that off of there. That's not the point, but say say I do or say you take that one with the Bible verse off of there. These people, who I call God bots, they're actually people hiding behind it. Oh, they'll cry, uh, you're against them and you're a conspiracy against God and their religion. Well, the same way people cry conspiracy when they, uh, well, they'll use, like I have people that are on the political thing, they'll call a video something political, right? And it'll be not quite the subject matter at all. And then I have, I see commenters that I'm agreeing with saying, oh, and then somebody takes it down for misleading on YouTube. You know, you get something down if, if YouTube could prove that you're deliberately misleading people. Then you'll cry conspiracy. Right? Well, same with these people. Uh, I'm not saying they're all bad people, but I mean, they're not going to quote the scripture, but say somebody does take it off. If I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be just a total asshole and not try to, you know, I ain't trying to censor anybody per se, but, but say if I took the comment off or whatever, 
Oh, right away they probably say, "Oh yeah, you're uh, uh, against conspiring against God, and you'd be trying to." Yeah, and there's a lot of censorships going around. Uh, that they're trying to censor certain views. Fuck yeah, they are. But uh, but I, so that's why that's why I don't want to go there with people. But I'm just saying, out of observance, some of them are good people, but some of them are damn cowards. I mean, yeah, make a. Maybe whether you're cut and, and these people were they're probably using that scripture on other other subjects. Maybe they'll watch a video on another subject. They're probably cut and pasting the same damn thing. Some of them don't realize uh, you can tell you can do that and actually look like a god bot. Well, yeah, you have athe atheism bots and you have that people look like bots that way. These trolls. That's why some trolls you don't want to take seriously. They're cutting and pasting their troll comments, whether at the, whether no matter what they are, you know. I get it. like it's not like a damn bot, you know. What I mean, or you get radical feminism bot, bot feminism bots, feminazi bots, and you'll get uh, atheist bots, evolutionist bots. Then you gotta wonder if they're cutting and pasting the same fucking thing on their uh, on all kind of people's videos, and it's just easier. But uh, no matter who you are, there's a, and even when I say something, I try to make reference to the shit, you know what I mean? I sometimes regard myself as a better writer than I am, am a speaker on, you talk at just the camera, but I'll talk you to death on if I'm in person, you know what I mean? But you can be doing a video and looking like um, you're just reading off a website, memorizing it. Just like, for example, any, okay, if any of you know me already, got this far on this video, anybody that got this far, people that know me, okay, may have gotten this far on this video. Uh, well, I know one, at least one of you that could be watching this right now. I said a long time ago, this Zinnia Jones character, the one that's the trans, whatever, gender. Not just me, a lot of people know to that effect that literally talking like she or he is reading off of a either reading off of a website or just writing a essay down and reading it you know what i mean and not expressing his his her or whatever own thoughts i mean that's so fucking obvious but, but yet say i want to make a case with you about something right i always said that maybe i wanted to write something down and do like an outline abc one two three abc like i taught us in school to outline if you want to be critical or something and do it for a college or a school assignment. But if I was doing that, you you know how I'm not always perfect on a damn video blog, you know? And, and then I came on a video and was doing it, you'd be able to see right away because you know me, I'm reading from something. But I wouldn't try to fucking deceive you, right? I would tell you, um, which I never ride around to do it, maybe one day I'll make a video, right? Work off of notes. I'll fucking show you and tell you that. I mean, because if you're people that know me, I'm not. You'd be like, oh, you don't fucking fool me. Who the fuck are you fooling? You know. But if I ever did that in a video, I said that a lot of times, and I do that one of these days. Because sometimes I'm a better typist than blogger. I mean, you can look like you're typing a bunch of shit and cut and paste them off the website. So, or you can be looking like you're reading some shit, but. Yet, at the same time, you know, with my not-so-great not videos, you may be able to tell what, who I'm influenced by, or whatever, too. And I can probably predict something or something that you're influenced by if I see one of your videos, or see who or what you're following, you know, on YouTube or what views. But that's the kind of thing, I mean, uh, I was directing this video mostly to God bots, but at the same time, I don't want to pick on the God people. There's a little bit of everybody that's doing it, but uh, but yeah, what I was saying about the God bots is that do nothing but put a bunch of scripture on and not have anything else to say, and it'll look to a point where you wonder if they're freaking cut and pasted. Well, you can cut and paste a special message on somebody's Facebooks and stuff like that. Two people do. There's no harm in that either. I'm not saying that is wrong. Not make anybody work on eggshells here, but there's a point where, like, uh, 
people are being cowards and hiding behind shit, you know what I mean? And there's a report where you're on one side, either religious or this side, or, or the, the color side, or the evolution side, or this side. Some of the people that are more successful on YouTube are almost afraid. Oh, they don't want to offend any of their fellow people that maybe they're riding the coattails or have their lips pressed against these other YouTubers that are more uh, successful than them. And, getting garner attention views off of them. And I say I would say the best way to do it is who gives a fuck of what amount of attention you got, you know what I mean? There's a point where, you know, now they won't even try to get you deleted. What they do now is to, to get your view count down is they call a uh, a lot of different people you criticize call a call a code three and get people to not watch your videos. And what you can do is you can get somebody to watch maybe one of your videos if they don't like you, right? And you can, where you don't get any views, you could, uh, what do you call it, share it on a particular way where you can have a bunch of your people watch it without it getting views now. There's different ways to do that now. And then people, then therefore all the view count is low and all that, nobody. But then people like me don't give a fuck anyway because I'm spreading a lot of my views out there in the world. And you ain't gonna, you're not there in the world, they either have you ignored, if they can't have you ignored, uh, have you shamed, or even have you thrown in jail if you're stupid enough to say something. Or misinterpret something you say, God forbid you say anything a certain way, or they can have an excuse to have you questioned by police or have you thrown in jail. Change the meaning of a simple, simple word to make it look like a threat, or make it look like it's racist, make it look like it's anti-religion, make it look like it's overly religious fanatic, you know. Just because you can get a mob of your friends to say so, you know, on or offline people throw them, play them damn games. But you know that's just some shit out there that's for a whole nother video entirely. But figured I'd just throw that in.